No Wheels Ranch. I know it like the back of my hand. It's a great piece of property that produces whitetails like you would believe. McWhorter Custom Rifles presents This week we're heading to my old stomping grounds where I was the head guide for 20 years of the Novios Ranch. The rut's kicking off in South Texas. Seth, my grandson Parker, and the crew are in camp. We're gonna try to see if we can't get a couple of brush country giants. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, McMillan Fiberglass Stocks, Swarovski Optique, and Extreme Wildlife Adventures. No Wheels Ranch. Uh, I've either been there as a guest or I've worked on it for over 20 years. Uh, I know it like the back of my hand. It's a great piece of property that produces white tails like you wouldn't believe. It's got a genetic strain in there that's natural, that's nothing been brought in, and it's just sheer maintenance and Jackie knowing exactly what he's doing. Agriculture has been in my family since uh, actually the Civil War, but in South Texas, we've been in farming and cattle since the 40s. And um, it was my dad's dream to always have a feed yard. And in 1959, he started and built his first pens, 500 head. And from now to, to up to now, we've got to 20,000. And slowly but surely, we've increased, built, and we now pasture cattle out over around 30, 40,000 acres. And then have a feed yard that we bring them into to finish the cattle. And that's, uh, that's what brought us to ranch country and brought us to the, to the deer world. Raising deer in South Texas has gotten to be a science, and the more you work at it, the more you understand just how hard it is. Uh, I've watched Jackie raise these deer, uh, the good times and the bad. In the drought years, you gotta make sure if you're gonna have a population like Jackie has on the Novilles, you gotta take care of these deer. It's your responsibility. You have a moral responsibility to make sure those deer have the, everything they need to eat and survive. Uh, it's, it's not a, it's not a a canned hunt by any means, but these deer are wild animals, but they're also a product of what Jackie's put his heart and soul into for the last 30 years. For a few years now, Jackie's had some health problems that uh, made it to where we couldn't quite hunt the novils like it needed to be hunted to manage the herd. Uh, Jackie called me and asked if Seth and I would come back down there uh, and film a few shows and he had some deer that he had had on trail camera and wanted us to look at. Uh, and so Seth and I were more than happy to get in our trucks and head south. 16 hours later, we're pulling up to my old stomping grounds, the Novius Ranch. This is where Lamar and I met 12 years ago. I've been looking forward to this hunt all year. This is place, this place is like home. Can't wait. Hello. Hello, Seth. What's going on? <laughs> How's the drive? 
It was great. Good, 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 good. Good to have good you to back. Good to see you, Parker. Walk. How are you? It's Long been time. a while. Yes, sir. I mean, you're like this. Yes, sir. What do you think of the hunting attire this week? <laughs> I mean, it's about 50 <laughs> degrees different from home right now. Well, luckily, it is going to change. Well, I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this all got, season. So. Got some good deer. Jackie's been seeing some. He's had the cowboys out looking. So the, the lodge is the yeah. same. It's nice and cool on a day like this. You want to see where you're staying? Let's go. Let's go. I look forward to it. <laughs> so this trip, I have my grandson Parker with me. He's a 17-year-old kid that lives hunting and fishing. Uh, well, it's hunting time. And one of the opportunities you get as a young hunter if you're in the fold here on the Novios Ranch, you get to help with the culling and show me some any kid that you know of that doesn't like to shoot deer. First afternoon, we head to a new blind they called the new blind on the pipeline because it hadn't been named yet. Uh, the cowboys have been scouting. Uh, they've been seeing some great deer. So Parker, myself, and JC, the cameraman, we head up, get shoulder to shoulder in the blind. Right before we left the lodge. Had this crazy northern blow in. It's good for the later in the week, but it's going to mess up this afternoon. But still, anytime you can be on the Novios Ranch and enjoying what's here, it's always worth it. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Borton Accuracy, makers of the most accurate custom hunting actions on the market manufactured in the USA to true bench rest tolerances. Borden accuracy equals success. It was a slow afternoon until late. Uh, then the deer start coming out. And when the deer start coming out of the Novils, you got an opportunity to really have something happen. Uh, well, sure enough, Stickers came out. Now, Stickers was a deer that Jackie had been seeing and taking pictures of with a video camera. The Cowboys had been seeing him and talking about him. And Seth and I had an agreement. Uh, we're, we're making TV. If a deer comes out, let's get it on the ground and make some TV. Oh, yeah, that is Seth's deer. Uh, well, sometimes you just got to be a nice guy. I'm an older guy. I've killed lots of deer. Uh, Seth's a younger guy and still gets really, really excited. Don't get me wrong, I can get excited too. <laughs> but I just knew that deer would mean a lot more to Seth than me. And so JC was trying to get me to shoot it. Seth even texted me shoot it. <laughs> and we fooled around until it got a little bit too late, but uh, it was kind of my intention. Uh, and I just knew that it was gonna mean more to Seth and I was hoping it would turn out right. The next morning we head to my blind. It's always been a productive blind and uh, we're optimistic. It's going to be a great morning and we just know something's going to happen. Uh, Parker's getting a little itchy trigger finger, I can tell. And we saw lots of deer and finally a really nice wide management eight stepped out. Parker's shooting my MCR 260. He puts the rifle out the window, settle in on the bag, get steady. I hear the safety go off. We wait that perfect amount of time and he squeezes slow. Back. <laughs> 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 Good shot. Thank you. Thank you. Good shot. That burger put him down, didn't it? Yes, sir.
one of the best things about doing this now. What? I don't have to gut them anymore. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even pick him up. Looks pretty good. Not that bad of a deer. Some nice blades here. Yeah. Nice brow ties. The tail almost come up and touch and long too. Super long. I bet those are nine inches. That's cool. Yep. You can smell him too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well Parker, you did the ranch a favor. And it's a fun hunt. Always fun. <laughs> the Novios Ranch is, is known for big deer, and this is one of the reasons right here is because we take out some what we call a cull, but it's, it's a, just a genetic that we don't want breeding because we've got so much deer, many deer here that are, are classic and just better genetics. Big. Big, <laughs> basically. And it makes it fun to come out here. It is a hunt to come out here and find these deer. Uh, the older they get, the more mature they get. They're just as hard to hunt and as smart as the big old 12 pointer. So it makes it fun and you can bring kids out, uh, whether they're your kids or not, and get them in the outdoors. Keeps them out of trouble. And what's better than making memories with your grandson? So Parker, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and uh, just because you shot it with my McQuarter 260 doesn't mean it's yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Mark. you for taking me. Let's keep doing it. I'm, I'm down with that. Okay. <laughs> Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by Huff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, Borden Accuracy, Ultimate Antler Deer Feed, Mesquite Creek Taxidermy, and Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue. Parker has drawn first blood and we're headed to the skin and shed. On the way in, I was telling Brian, the cameraman, I said, it's middle of December. Uh, the 15th is the Holy Grail for the rut in South Texas. And I said, they're out, they're running. I said, what, what, what do you say we just head over to the feed yard and let's see what happens over there? We settle into the hole on the left at the feed yard, get set up and the camera's ready, the rifle's ready, and we're just sitting down and relaxing. And I look down to Sandera and out set the doe. And out pops this buck. It's a great deer. Finally, I get to judge him and I realize it's a six year old deer that Jackie has been seeing and telling us about. And I knew that if he would just pause long enough, I was gonna take that deer. So they're chasing, these doe are coming straight toward me, the buck right behind them, and they're coming right at me. And then all of a sudden, they all three dart into the brush to the right. And I said, I bet I've lost him. Welcome back, this is Keith with McWhorter Custom Rifles. This week's Tech Tips is going to be brought to you by Tacticam, who's one of our sponsors. We're going to be talking about their product, the Spotter LR. The Spotter LR is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a spotting scope camera. Utilizing it as a standalone system, you're able to accomplish a whole lot more, more dynamically than you would if you were using some of the other phone mounts and stuff like that that are out there. Me personally, I use my phone as a backup for all my ballistic data. Plus when somebody calls or texts, it interrupts my recording. It, it just steals that purpose away from me. So this is dedicated just to that. So here's a few of the tech specs. You know, it weighs nine ounces. If you have a Tacticam 5.0 or 5.0 wide, the same battery that works in those works in this. You're gonna get about two and a half to three hour runtime out of them. And once again, we're gonna go back to the weight. Nine ounces, you know, like if I'm self filming, I don't wanna to have to carry another tripod, another camera, have all that extra stuff, you know, put on there on top of me as it is. All right, so let's go over how to use it. So whenever you first get this, it's gonna come with a bunch of these rings, which is your diopter adapters. You're gonna to wanna to find the one that fits just snugly over your eyepiece. Make sure that your diopter adjustment is all the way in, because this camera needs to be as close as possible to the lens. Then I'm gonna go ahead and slide this on. And I'm gonna adjust this 
and tighten it if I need to or loosen it. What I'm looking for is just a nice little lock over that doesn't let it come off. Once I have it locked on there, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and make sure that my image is aligning the way that I want it to. All right, test the different zooms. All right, all's clear. All right, so that's all there is to setting this thing up. It's really easy. So let's get behind the firing line and send some rounds down range and see how you like the video quality. All right, so now we're set up here behind the firing line. We're gonna fire off eh, two rounds per target starting at 300 and go out to 800. First off, we'll be at 300. All right, there you go, folks. Now you can see why we enjoy the Tacticam Spotter LR as much as we do. This downrange shooting tip was brought to you by Tacticam and McWhorter Custom Rifles. Until next time, share your hunt. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by Tacticam, Sig Sauer, Trigger Tech, Brooks Barrels, Capstone Precision Group, and Hawkins Precision. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Real Texas Barbecue. I was just settling in on the disappointment that I had lost them, and about 20 seconds later, out comes a doe, and then another doe. I get my rifle out the window, looking forward to great fortune, and I take the safety off and I'm waiting, and all of a sudden I see his nose, and then I see his rack. He's not going to be too far off that road there, right there. That's the first one for the 6.5 PRC, and it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> he was standing right here between that shadow and this shadow, and he went right behind this ebony bush here, or cat claw, whatever you want to call it. So the way he acted, he should be right in there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> See the antlers in there? <laughs> That's to the left right there. What we're gonna do is, got a couple of cowboys here. They heard the shot and they're coming over to check, so I'm gonna get the young guys to pull this thing out, then we'll do the recovery out there. So here's the story of an awesome deer. <laughs> here's a great, Novios buck, typical feed yard buck. Chocolate, it's got points, it's got width, it's got main beam, just a great deer. And he's old and mature. We watch the deer for a little bit, and I, I'm just overly cautious when I'm hunting with Jackie. 
because I want to make sure I do the right thing for his ranch, for Jackie and his ranch. But after a little deliberation, we figured out that he was plenty old enough. I was going to err on the side of caution, but decided I didn't have to. What a great deer, huh? 16 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I stand corrected. <laughs> what a great deer. No wheels ranch. It's like coming home. You know, when you get to kill a deer like this and you get your hands on it and you think about it, you can't help but go back and wonder all the years and all the hard work that Jackie and everybody did to grow this deer and how many times we saw it when it was younger and let it grow. I can't express upon you enough, let them grow. And this is the result, a 16 point, beautiful South Texas buck.